Why was Craster giving his male children to the White Walkers beyond the wall? In Game of Thrones we saw when one of Craster's baby boys was turned into an ice creature. But the purpose of the White Walkers with Craster's children was not explained to us which has left us with many questions. Could it be that the Night King needed them to grow his army or will there be a darker reason? What would you think if I told you that one of Gilly's brothers could be the next Night King? In this video, we will be discussing various theories that attempt to explain the purpose of these offerings. And for more videos from the universe of Game of Thrones, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. To understand this, let's first talk about the White Walkers. During Game of Thrones we were shown the creation of the first White Walker or Night King at the hands of the Children of the Forest. The Children of the Forest were losing the war against the First Men, so they decided to create these beings to defeat them, but then they came to a truce with the humans. For a long time the First Men of Westeros lived happily, until the others arrived, the White Walkers. And that is when the first long night begins the First Men and the Children of the Forest, against the White Walkers. We assume that what happened there is that for 20 years the White Walkers, the Wraiths and the Helpers of the Night King, spread over the planet destroying every kingdom and every city. We know it may have lasted 20 years because the legends say it lasted a generation. But then a hero emerged who sacrificed the woman he loved and managed to end the long night by returning the White Walkers to the north. Old Nan used to tell people about the stories of the Ice Wall and the White Walkers. She would tell how Bran the Builder, along with the help of the Children of the Forest, built this great wall to keep the Walkers away after the long night. Now, one of the darkest stories in Game of Thrones is the story of Craster, Gilly's father a man who married his daughters and sacrificed his sons to the White Walkers. But who was this man? Craster was the son of a Night's Watch bastard and a wildling woman from the village of White Tree. His father abandoned his mother after Craster was conceived, and when his mother tried to take him to Castle Black, she was driven away by members of the Night's Watch, and he never knew his father's name. Craster's keep is in the haunted forest, where he lives with his 19 wives and has other daughters who are too young to marry. His male children are sacrificed to the Cold Gods, which in this series are shown to be the White Walkers. Craster is one of the few wildlings who are not openly hostile to the Night's Watch, possibly because he knows that his father was a member of this brotherhood. Although he shows no malice towards them, and offers shelter to those north of the Wall, he is considered a weak ally at best. This is due to his incestuous relationships with his daughter wives and suspicions that he sacrificed his male children to the White Walkers. In a scene of Game of Thrones, we could see how one of the babies that was handed over to the White Walkers was turned into one of them by the Night King when he touched him on the cheek. But why did the White Walkers specifically need Craster's children? This is where theories come in that might explain the purpose of these sacrifices. The first is that the children that Craster surrendered to the Walkers were possibly part of the Plan B that the Night King had in case he was defeated. Something that we already saw happen in the series. Plan B was to create a successor. If so, this successor would not be connected to the rest of the White Walkers. When Arya killed the Night King, his successor in the North would take that title and begin to create a new army. Will one of Craster's sons become the new leader of the White Walkers after the Night King's death? We know that all of Craster's sons were sacrificed. So if any were used as successors, it would be logical to say that not all were created to be his successor. In my opinion, this could be the reason why he did not attack Westeros before the events of Game of Thrones as he was gradually enlarging his army with sacrificed babies, or perhaps converting people who were in the north, 
Something similar to what we saw at the beginning of the first episode in Game of Thrones, where we saw White Walker attack the Rangers of the Night's Watch. This is possibly the reason why the Wall will always be important, and the reason why a new Night's King could return in the future. Understanding this, we can see how the story of a Game of Thrones sequel series could play out, if they are convinced to make one. Perhaps Jon Snow discovers how the Night King created his successor that the White Walkers are still a threat and he must warn everyone. For once again, Winter may return. Possibly a brother of Gilly has become this entity. So at this moment he must be expanding his army to be able to attack again in the future and possibly stronger than what we saw them to be in Game of Thrones. But there is an even darker theory than turning the babies into walkers and that is that Craster has decided to sacrifice his male children to protect his home, and in return, the White Walkers would use the babies to increase their power. In Game of Thrones, the theme of sacrifices in exchange for something is recurrent. So this would not be such a far-fetched idea. Craster lived beyond the Wall and had no alliances with Mance Raider, and disliked the Lord of Bones, a renowned wildling leader. This means he had no protection in the North, so he may have been forced to sacrifice his sons in order to appease the others and keep them at bay. But why only the boys? So he may have decided to give up his male children so that he would be the only one capable of procreating with them. From what we saw in Game of Thrones, Craster didn't want any man to approach or speak to any of his daughters. Now, in the novels following A Dance with Dragons, there is no evidence of what actually happens to the babies, although Craster's wives believe that the sacrificed babies are transformed into new others. This goes in line with the theory we mentioned that the Night King is increasing his army. On the other hand, the old Nan says that the others simply feed the ice creatures, or wraiths, with human babies. We don't know for sure if these creatures need to be fed, but if so, this would be a pretty strong theory since basically the White Walkers are a type of zombie. So eating people wouldn't be too crazy of a thing to say. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Why do you think the White Walkers are looking for Craster's babies? Could it be that Craster is benefiting from these sacrifices? Share your opinion in the comments. And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos of theories, news and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Three-Eyed Raven.